Pets is a is a rambunctious group. And it's like, are you guys gonna lose your shit? If you don't set your high school VP ass rambunctious, <laughs> shut the fuck up. They're, they're a married group of men. Like, if they don't come out, if they come out too feisty and too physical, they might get hit with a bunch of penalties. And Aaron Rodgers will take advantage of that emotionality, if that's even a word. Emotionality. Emotionality. You're emoting too much. <laughs> but it's like, yo, it's... Uh, should, it should just be interesting. I'll tell you that much. All right, so real quick, let's go back to the coaching stuff. Uh, there's a lot of hires this past week. I think the only available job right now is the Texans. That's the last one. It's Siberia. <laughs> um, so real quick Let me go to the um, Hold on Alright so The Eagles hired Colts offensive coordinator Nick Siriana As their head coach uh, They wanted a QB favorable Coach there in Philadelphia Even though it wasn't that their Last coach but okay yeah, that was definitely the last coach. Um, Dan Campbell signed with the Lions. Former backup, former starting and backup tight end for the Detroit Lions. He played there. And he already made news by saying he wants to build and on the process uh, bite off a couple of kneecaps, whatever the fuck that means, because we're still playing football in the 80s, but all right. Like, bro, you were you were like a modest player at best. It just seems like okay. Like, didn't you guys already try to go this raw raw route with Matt Patricia? Like, what are, what are, what are you doing? But okay, I feel like he tried that raw raw route in Miami, and that's why he didn't get the job. But then he ended up being an assistant with the Saints. It's like if there's a raw raw culture already there, okay, and but, it's but the like Lions, the Lions dog. don't. They it's don't the need the Lions, dog. They don't. It's the Lions, dog. They don't need rah rah. They They're in Detroit. Them. What is there to be rah rah about? Big the, Sean's the wa- mediocre album. The water and Flint's been <laughs> fucked up for years. Yeah. Kwame Kilpatrick got pardoned. <laughs> Shout out to Harry O getting pardoned. I mean, Trump did something right. He pardoned Harry O. Like you could buy six houses on one block for like five bucks. I mean, uh, the Russians, Indians, and Asians pretty much are like carving up. Detroit, right? Michigan, right now, it's kind of scary. Like how much they're pushing like black people out of Detroit because well, nobody wants to buy houses there. Not like they forced people out of their homes. It's just a lot of predatory shit. Gentrification is real. But if you come from Detroit, well, there's to LA, also a lot of people that don't want to live there. And people, like you said, people move here, move here from there. Yeah, but if you came from Detroit, like if you come from anywhere to LA. Talking shit Like please stop that Cause you failed where you were And that's why you're here That Batman line Arthur Smith uh, Bill's offensive coordinator Is now taking the job With the Falcons And Eric Bieniemy Still is not hired Hopefully he gets that last job In Houston Alex Smith has already come out Former QB for the Chiefs Saying it's Outrageous that he hasn't already Gotten the job you know, the enemy's gone on record saying, of course, I want to be a head coach. He's already said that a few times. So hopefully he can he can land that last Texans job. Do you want it, though? Especially yeah, if you're going to trade Deshaun. Like, why would you take it? Yep. I'd be waiting on that Minnesota job if I was being enemy. But uh, he shouldn't have to wait. That's the thing. It's like the whole perverse ref- affirmative action bullshit. Since people want to cry about reverse racism, all like Brandon Staley, Chargers head coach, has no head coaching experience at any level, none. He was a coordinator last year and pretty much just finessed the job off of that. I think he took a couple of Rams assistants with him, but the Rams were replaced him with Raheem Morris, who was essentially the head head coach for, for half the, the season with the Falcons last year. He's also been in Tampa Bay. A lot of people say. A lot of people say about that Rams coordinator, defensive coordinator job, it's basically an assistant head coach title because, you know, McVay pretty much just works with the offense. So, you know, whoever he hires there, whether it was Wade Phillips and then Staley and now it'll be Morris, 
But they'll just essentially be on the silo operating that half of the team. They should go back to a 4-3. Yeah, we'll see. Um, At this point, like, and put him back and make him a true a true three technique and go back to actually developing defensive ends instead of five technique D tackles. That's lazy. I just, I mean, I, I like the Staley hire because it's like, okay, the Chargers are actually, are actually, you know, taking a chance. But at the same time, it's also like. Your defense wasn't the problem. Injuries were. Yes, and also, like, problem. dude, get off the fucking Rams coattails. Like, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's like, why did you do this? Why did like, you snake his girlfriend? You didn't need to do that. Like, like first off, you could have got the enemy, enemy and, and the Chargers would have been Herbert, perfect for the enemy, bro. Could have been Mahomes, Herbert, the enemy, Reed. Better yet, like, shout those out, fucking headlines. Shout out to somebody that we both interviewed and who's really dope and nice. Uh, Dorsey alum Hugh Jackson mm. He talked about how like He said it on I Am Athlete With uh, Brandon Marshall Channing Crowder And Chad Johnson He said look Pep Hamilton should be The hottest name in coaching Right now Think about it He went to the XFL He first off He coached Andrew Luck From college When he got there To Stanford And in the NFL And helped fix his game They just didn't have any protection for him but they he pep hamilton elevated andrew luck's game to new levels at stanford and we got hired with the colts then he goes to the xfl what does he do make cardell jones look like an nfl quarterback like an elite qb when i was covering them like the dc defenders were like undefeated for a minute and you notice that tone is faster hello caller what's your name where are you calling from Hi, first time caller, long time listener. Uh, <laughs> this is Eric coming from Venice. Dope. I'm wondering how it is that we still don't have uh, a Zoom thing that we can last more than 40 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably just going to upgrade to Pro, and I think I just merged this call. So, Izzy, are you there too? No, she's not. What the hell? <laughs> well, it's safe to say we won't be having any uh, smack off anytime soon. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, jeez, guys. Jeez. But I remember even Pep Hamilton being a hot candidate for the Raiders job. I think they were I never giving say, Pep Hamilton that job. I want to say either before Del Rio or before Allen. A lot of guys were supposed to get that job before Del Rio, but we saw how that worked. Izzy, if you're listening, just call so back where, in. So where did he fuck up? And, how, how he didn't did he fuck up. He's a black coordinator in the NFL. He's a quarterback whisperer. He literally helped. He brought. He got PJ uh, Walker. That's what he it got. PJ Walker was. to the that's NFL, bro. Was. That's what it was. Being a Michigan head coach, a Mich- Michigan. Uh, he was at Michigan, but they didn't let him call plays. And, and assistant head coach, they didn't let him call plays. Does that say merge? Yeah. I can't see shit, bro. Um. Okay, and. Oh, the last one. I don't know if we talked about this last week or not, but the Jets hired Robert Sully, uh, former 49ers defensive coordinator, and also the first Muslim head coach in the NFL. Which, by the way, isn't that like a religion? So, like, how is that, like, news? What do you mean, how is that news? Like, it's not new. It's not like his ethnicity. Like, he's, like, if you're practicing Muslim... Like, that's one thing, but, like, how is that news? Like, what is... I'm trying to figure out, like, what does he identify as? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, from the like the cultural context? I, I, I think... I'm I like, think, how, is I that think, rare? Or they I just, think you're I looking like at just, it the wrong way. I feel like they just I threw that out like, there as a BS. Look, we got a non-black, non-white person. No. That's what that feels like. No, 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 no. Guess what? Maybe I'm tripping. You're definitely tripping, cause guess what? Uh, Yo, why last time I checked, shit, not letting Muslims like one of the. I think it's the biggest religion. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. like by far. And the fact of the matter, but what is, does that have to do with football? They live a completely. If you're a practicing Muslim, you live a completely different lifestyle than what's traditionally. But do you here know in the if Western he's a society? traditional Muslim or is he like? That but, I don't know. That's what I'm mean, saying. I'm like, not, I'm not I in feel a position. like the NFL threw that out there. I'm not like in a, a position to to judge anyone's uh, 
I'm religious not, practices. I'm not either. I'm so just, I don't I know if he cleans. I don't know if he cleans his feet. I don't know how often he prays. But either way, you know, there's 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 a lot a lot of ways to look at that. But I think, like, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's not an ethnicity, but it is a large population that is um, symbolically annihilated from a lot of shit in the Western culture. Well, in the Western so culture, see, they just pretty much hate So it. to see him rise, like, that that means a lot. Like, I remember last year at NABJ, there was this dude who was, you know, Middle Eastern of some sort and was just like, like... You know, how do I find a mentor? Like, I've never seen anyone. Well, you showed up to a black journalism. I've never seen anybody who's Muslim, like, on air. Like, I've never seen it. Like, who who do I talk to? Like, I I have all these things I'm dealing with culturally, like, and I don't have anybody to talk to. Like, blah, blah, blah. So. But he showed up to a black journalism event looking for other Muslim people. No, his point was there's no. N A B Muslims, so you know where where is he supposed to go? Like that's so what, that was you come around point. black people, and we have to coalesce. Like we started our own shit because everybody burned us out, and I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like when you come in as the only my the only quote unquote minority amongst black people, and try to force your way in. And say, we got to all coalesce to you. Like, that's kind of rude. You should come in and be gracious and be like, look, I know I'm not black. but That's, that's what his tone was. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, that's, that's, that's literally cool. How he that's started. cool. That's his that's tone. How he but started. do you see how, like, that can be dangerous when, like, somebody slides in the room and then they try to, like, make it about them? Like, when white people come into rooms, like, and then they try to be like, I'm the only white person in the room. It's like, whoa, Relax. Like, this isn't about you right now. Like, yeah, he didn't do that. But, like, other people in media will come in and do that. And it's like the... Pretty much I'm really just taking a shot at Kamala Harris. Uh, No, I think you're really just uh, projecting. No, but it's like black people can't go in other spaces and do that. And be like, I, actually, I've been, I've been in a lot of spaces where black journalists have been in the back of the room and raised their hand and done that. And done exactly what you were talking about. Okay, in regards to what? Because did they go the LGBTQ route, or did they say I'm the only black person in this room route? Both. I've I've literally been in rooms where both has happened, and I've literally been in rooms with black journalists where the black journalist in the back is like, "Well, I'm queer." And it's just like, "Fuck." But you're black, so it's like we they don't we don't trip on that. But, but I'm saying my point is like, is, but that's what I'm saying. Is, but that's what I'm saying. It's, it's and you're it's, Muslim. It's that's like what I'm saying is it's complicated for you to be like, oh well, like, we'll let you thing? in. But is it's that like, a thing if it's a religion? Well, religion. yeah. I mean, I guess it's a religion, but it's also an identity and a way of living. No, I, I know it, it is a whole. But I'm saying a large part of a region. I get and it. A, a I agree. Large part of the population. So I agree. But I'm saying so if somebody NFL, wants to use that to identify themselves as their ethnicity or whatever, like. <laughs> Who the fuck am I to say? No, Muslims are religion. That's no, not no, 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 no. I'm not arguing that's not that. A way to identify I, yourself. No, 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 I'm not saying that because if he identifies as white and says Muslim, whatever, do your thing. But it's like the NFL. I feel like only threw that out there just to say that. It's like I think I think a reporter asked him the question. Like, are you? Yeah, aware but like, look how the, the media. Look how the NFL spun it. Is what I'm saying. Like, were they talking about? They didn't talk about him being Muslim the whole time he was the Niners defensive coordinator. They never mentioned it. And I'm pretty sure he's talked about it before. That's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, you're picking that narrative right now, and it's weird that you would pick that narrative right now when I'm pretty sure this person has identified this. They came in the door as this, and you're picking now to mention it. That's kind of weird. And also they're in New York. So it's also like I feel like it's New York. He's Muslim, head coach. We know the history of New York media and Muslim people, right? It's not so great, is it? I just hope they don't, they're not extra harsh on him. 
in ways that we've seen it done 